I'm Snooty Minutes. I'm Claire. I'm Alexandra. I'm Josh. We did our part of the so I'm going to start out with some history to begin just about the original product. So PopSocket claims that they have much, like they will provide you a much better grip than um, any other thing just by having your regular phone case. By adding that, they claim that it, your life will be easier. Um, and then David Barnett was the PopSocket creator and he started it in 2012. So it is more recent. Um, and it started out as 30,000 sold in 2013, I believe, um, just in the US. And two years ago, it expanded to 35 million in 40 countries. Um, and then Hoptivism is just spreading positivity about uh, different sexualities and just putting it out there and saying that it's okay. Um, the current target audience of PopSockets is teens. This is established in many ways. One way is the color scheme. There is a rainbow of pastel colors that are popular with teens. The fonts in the logo and ads are very bold, modern bubble letters teens will notice. In the logo, each letter is a different color to show the many variations of PopSockets and how everyone can find the PopSocket for them. Teens will be more likely to purchase a pop socket if it can be tailored to their tastes. In the O, it shows a version of the product so you can visualize it. Their tagline is socket them drop it. It is meant to sound good while still getting the point across that if you put a pop socket on your phone, you won't drop it, which is an enticing notion for teens. So the, these are two of their current ads. In the first one, they are trying to convince you to buy a pop socket. I know this because the pop sockets are prominently featured on it, and the picture depicts their function. The logo and tagline are also on the ads to tell you exactly what pop sockets are. They use the words all hands in to demonstrate that you want to buy them because they are popular. This ad is implying that many different people have them by saying this as well. It is further, further demonstrated when they show all of the hands holding their phones with pop sockets on them. Each hand is different and each pop socket is unique which shows that pop sockets are for everyone. This ad uses ethos by showing real people use the product. People feel that pop sockets are credible and a good product when they see others, specifically in their same age group, using them. In the ad, a variety of teens are demonstrating the use of pop sockets to prove that they are worth buying. This ad uses pathos by making you feel left out. Nobody, especially teens, like to feel left out, and this ad draws on that emotion. It does this by making it seem like everyone is a pop socket and you should get what's in. It is also implying that this will help you fit in with a bigger group of people and having one is a new trend. In the second ad, they are also trying to convince you to buy a pop socket and pop, because pop sockets are clearly shown on it. They are being used alongside the logo and tagline to show you what the product is so you will buy it. The tag, the tag or the slogan says pop, lock, and don't drop it. This ad is implying that if you put a pop socket on your phone, you won't drop it. The picture further demonstrates this because person can have hold three phones using pop sockets without dropping them. This ad uses the picture to demonstrate ethos as well. It doesn't just show tell you that if you put a pop socket on your phone you won't drop it, it actually shows you. The picture relates to the target audience by using phone cases and pop sockets that would appeal to teens and make them want a pop socket. This ad uses pathos by making you feel safe. Teens very commonly drop and break their phones. This gives them a feeling of security, knowing if they buy a pop socket, they won't have to worry about the embarrassment and despair of get, needing to get a new phone. And now introducing pop sockets, memories worth holding on to. Our new ta target audience is elderly people. We tailored the color scheme to, to them by making it bold, red, blue, and silver, to ensure our product stands out. The theme is family oriented, and we want the elderly people to think of their families when they buy pop sockets. The new logo, the P, is large to draw attention to the pop socket and let the audience know that it has something to do with phones and technology. Inside the phone, we demonstrate this by someone using a phone so they know what it looks like and will want to buy it. The new tagline is Memories Worth Holding On To, implies 
implying that if you buy a pop socket, your pictures will turn out better and you will be able to cherish your family relationships and memories forever. In the <clears throat> and then that's just going over what I just said. This is our first print ad. Um, everybody gets to just look at that. All right, print ad. The image. The image we have a happy family with an elderly man taking the photo, implying that our target audience is the elderly people. It has a big happy family with kids, grandkids, and stepchildren. And the colors, we use the red, so it's very bold and easy to read for an elderly person that might be a little hard of vision. Uh, the uh, ethos, pathos, and logos. Ethos is the credibility. You have a big, happy family using it. Logos is, sorry. Pathos is the emotion. It's a big, happy family. So not only is it a big family, but it's a happy family. They're all smiling. They're all together. They're happy. And... Lastly, we have the logos. You see in this photo, the picture, it doesn't translate as well on the uh, on that projector, but this picture is blurry, implying that he's dropping the phone while trying to take a picture, and now the family moment isn't gonna be captured as well. And in this picture, it's clear, it's bright, and you can see everyone's faces, they're all happy, and that's implying that you want the pop socket so you can take the good photos. You don't want the blurry photos, you want the clear photos. So you can see all your little grandkids' faces when you frame them. Okay, now we're going to do the commercial. Uh, we're going to do the commercial. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't... Okay. There's a new pause. Let me just stop recording.